We're all inclined to rush bottles straight from the supermarket to our tables. Do all wines need months or years of storing? Far from it. Everyday table wines, red or white, are at their best young and fresh, just briefly rested from bottling and travelling. If they're really newly bottled, they need a few weeks to get over a stage which the wine trade knows as bottling shock. Beaujolais Nouveau is in a state of shock, all right. People go to absurd lengths to rush it to table the day it's officially released in November. No wine is improved by this sort of treatment, however much fun it may be. worth a premium is worth keeping, at least for a few months rest, and maybe for years. Only one wine lover in a million has this sort of antique cellar, but you can keep your wine perfectly happy, in really good shape, without even having a cellar at all. It's normally space that's the problem. The cupboard under the stairs is a well-tried solution, and a very good one, so long as it doesn't either get very hot or cold in your neighbourhood. Or you can adapt a piece of furniture, like this cupboard. Some people think that a cellar should be a damp, musty, dripping grotto. But if it is, you get problems with things like the bottoms falling out of cardboard cartons. In which case, the only thing to do is to stack them on top of wooden cases, or just slats on the floor will do very nicely. But an even worse problem is what happens to labels. And it's not very funny if that has happened to the label of some valued bottle of wine. It knocks a lot off the value, for one thing. However, there's a trick for this one. When you get a new bottle of wine into the cellar, with a nice clean label, you take a can of hairspray and you just give it a squirt all over, like that. That will seal the label for keeps and it won't rot. Old-fashioned cellars were designed with so-called bins, which are simple shelves. You stacked the bottles as high as you liked on them. It didn't make any difference, because it all came out of the same barrel anyway. In fact, in those days, they didn't even have labels. This 50-year-old port just has a white splash, and the point of that is to tell you which way up the bottle should be, so that you know where the sediment is lying on the bottom. In fact, it's very important to keep the label or the white paint splash uppermost so that any sediment will be at the bottom when you come to pouring. Also, you'll be able to read the label, which is the most important thing of all. <laughs> 